Hey everybody, welcome back to Code a Responsive Website with Bootstrap 3. In this video, we're going to be running through the course files. The course files is a folder which will be provided in the following lecture, and it has folders within it numbered from 1 through 5. 1 being design assets, 2 starter assets, 3 sans Photoshop, 4 code chunks, and 5 final website. I'm going to run through each of these just to explain them a little further. One is design assets. These are the assets that we will be using to export the images or assets used on the website. So badges are these items right here. That will be in this Photoshop document. Carousel large, medium, and small are the carousels, the carousel background images that we will be using for this sliding carousel for all the different sizes, for the large desktop, the normal size desktop, small desktop and tablet, and phone. So that is what these Photoshop files are for. Number two is the starter assets, which includes everything you need to get started from scratch with your Bootstrap 3 website. Within this folder, we have the Bootstrap files that you need to reference, the CSS and the JavaScript, an images folder with the logo, the web hosting 101 image, and the PSD to HTML5 image. The reason not everything is in here is because we're going to be using the design assets or the Photoshop documents to export the rest of the images into this folder. If you don't have Photoshop, don't worry, because in number three, we have an images folder that you can just replace with the starter assets images folder, and then you'll have all the images. You won't have to open Photoshop at all. Moving on down, we have the includes folder, which includes some CSS, fonts, and JavaScript. In the CSS folder, I'll show you over here in Coda. In the CSS folder, we have our custom CSS. I've provided a nice organized CSS file so you can use these comments as guidelines as to where to put your CSS. If you don't want to use these comment flags at all, then that's okay but in the course that's what we will be using. Down at the bottom we have the media queries and we will jump into those a little later. Up here we have the bootstrap glyph icons CSS. This references the fonts folder which has a bunch of crazy looking files here which are font files and if you recall in a previous lecture I mentioned that these icons were actually fonts, they're not bitmaps, bitmap images just like these are fonts and this is a font. They're not actually bitmap icons, they're font icons. And that's what this CSS and this font folder allows you to do. Then I have the JS folder which includes a local version of jQuery, a local version of Modernizer, which you won't really need to worry about these at all. They're just there so we can use jQuery and access the bootstrap JavaScript features. And we have our custom script.js file where you'll be adding some custom jQuery to add a little bit of flair to the website. And then next up you have the index.html file within your starter assets, which just includes a basic skeleton, everything that you need to get started in the head, and everything else down here. Just as a quick run through, in the head we have the title, meta description, the viewport meta tag, the bootstrap CSS, which references the actual bootstrap CSS up here, and the bootstrap glyph icons.css, which I just talked about. Custom CSS, this is our custom styles right here, and modernizer. If you don't know what modernizer is, essentially it's a plugin that allows older browsers like Internet Explorer to recognize. HTML5 elements. So it's important to put it before any of the HTML is rendered so that we don't get any bugs. And at the bottom, before the closing body tag, we have all the JavaScript. So the online version of jQuery, if you don't have online access, falls back to our local version up here. Bootstrap JavaScript plugins and our custom JavaScript. On to number three, our sans Photoshop file. Essentially, it's just the images folder with all the assets exported already, so you don't need to use Photoshop whatsoever. 
So all you'll need to do is replace this images folder with the empty images folder that's included in the starter assets. And we'll go over that in a following lecture. Next up we have the code chunks. Code chunks are essentially, they're labeled A to I and it's almost all of the HTML you're gonna to need to make this website. It's really just for reference. I don't recommend just taking these code chunks, copying and pasting them and then calling it a day because then you won't learn anything. But if you need to use them for reference or for help, then that's what these are for. A is the layout. It just includes a general structure of how the HTML is laid out and you could use this as a map. B is the nav bar. It's the entire nav bar with all the content and everything inside that you're going to need. So you can reference this file if you're confused with the nav bar. Same with the carousel, the callout, features, the tab content, the modal window, the courses at the bottom of the page, and the footer. So all of those code chunks are supplied in that folder should you need to reference them to check to see if your code is all right. And again, these are just for reference. I wouldn't recommend just using these verbatim, copying and pasting, because you won't really learn anything. Number five is the final website. And in this is the fully finished finalized website. So if you were to click on the index.html file, you can see the whole website in all its glory. So if you needed to reference or double check your work, it's all right here, exactly what you see online and exactly what I'm looking at to teach you the course. So that's it for this video. In the next lecture, you should be able to download the course files you were just looking at in this video. And then following that, we'll get started and jump right in. I'll see you there.